Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how we can containerize ELK stack, Elasticsearch log stash Kibana, and how we can really integrate that with the Nest.js service or Nest.js APIs, which is producing logs and how we can push that logs to Elasticsearch through log stash to Elasticsearch or through maybe a file beat to log stash to Elasticsearch and then visualize it through Kibana. So this is our simple setup and what we are doing in this setup is try to achieve this kind of a structure. I mean, uh, beat is also actually a part of the ELK stack because beat can extract the logs coming from either a heartbeat, from file beat, audit beat, matrix beat. Or if you don't want to use beat, then just use log stash. Your node.js can be pushed to logs to the log stash. Or this file beat, which is actually a part of a beat platform, can read the logs from a particular file. So if you see that you are pushing the logs to a particular dedicated file file or directory, then file beat can read it from there, push the logs to the log stash, and then log stash will parse, transform it, and push that to the Elasticsearch. Or let's say you are using Node.js or Nest.js, you can push the logs directly to the Elasticsearch also that can be visualized through Kibana. So that we are going to play all these things in this particular video. So let's set up a Docker Compose file. I mean, uh, these are the fixed set of containers, uh, Elasticsearch container. And then we have, I think, log stash. I mean, you don't need to struggle much on setting up the uh, these containers. You can just copy and paste this Docker Compose file. It has all the configurations, all the required port, which you need to expose. Docker Compose is actually really helpful that you get all the containers pre-configured. You don't need to worry about the configurations which you are putting inside a log stash Kibana ELK. I mean, obviously you need to understand, okay, what is the volume mapping, port mapping, what is the network and how these containers are uh, going to spin up, what port they are exposing under which network they are and any specific environment variable which you are specifying right for the elastic search i'm going to bootstrap it from the image which i'm going to pull from the docker hub this is the container name and then we have log stash log stash image volume mapping because for log stash i'm going to provide a log stash configuration file log stash dot yml that I, that is going to be get mounted with the container Log stash configuration will decide, okay, what will be the input, what uh, transformation I want to do and what will be the output. Log stash, uh, I mean, is, serves a very specific purpose. So whatever the data, the logs you are getting, you can actually apply the transformations and filtering on top of that. Kibana is for visualization, so nothing much here. And a file beat, file beat is actually looking for a particular directory like microservice logs. Inside this directory, if you put the files, then this file beat will read those files from that directory. Okay, now let's uh, spin up these containers. So here we can create uh, first these files like file beat folder, log stash folder. Inside log stash, we need to create a log stash dot yml also. So this is the log stash configuration. Configuration, if you see, the log stash contains three things: input, output, and a filter. Not doing much on the filter part, just non, not a lot of transformation. Input is actually can be a TCP or can be coming from the beats. So the input source in the log stash can be a file beat, file beat, heartbeat, or whatever the beats platform we are using. So beats will push the message to the 501. And uh, any particular logs, let's say I'm using Node.js, Nest.js, so I will push the logs to the 5000 port. Then it will just transform it, doing nothing on the filter and filter part. And output will be the elastic search. The log stash playing very critical or very important part in deciding the index. So here the index of the elastic search will be app. You see the elastic search configuration here. Inside elastic search, we are, uh, I mean, on the output of the log stash. Elastic search is running on 9200 index because elastic search is a new SQL. So to push something and store something, it actually creates the index. Like if you aware about MongoDB, which contains the uh, database as a collections, database tables are collections and you created different databases. So here th that is called indexes. Inside indexes, you have a columns and all these things. So indexes, app and the date stamp. So all those configurations inside a log stash config and log stash YML. 
and you can also have a so this is the file bit file bit is a file bit configuration it is saying okay what is the stream of the file from where are we going to read the input the file bit is also going to read the data from the input it is going to be reading from this particular directory and file bit actually will process uh, i mean it it actually sends the output to the input of the log stash so there is a file bit here then it will push the message to the log stash and then log stash will push to the elastic search this is how it works okay then uh, we have kibana which is running on 5601 output of the log stash output is going to the log stash which is running on 501 so we have kibana 5601 log stash all these are the containers file bit containers and we can just set up them using docker compose up i mean i wrote a blog also uh, if you want to have a basic understanding about all these components what all these components are elastic search a highly scalable distributed search engine i mean it's not like okay elastic search is being used for logging you might be mistaken right i have used elastic search for for providing a full text based search with the nest nest js or node js i mean it is using that index and same index we can use uh, like okay i want to store the inventory of the food cart application or like mintra mintra where you want to search for the clothing items or uber eats where you want to search for a food item those kind of extensive token based text based full text based search you can use elastic search it also used for analytics indexing so we, for the logging we will create a log index and we'll push that data to the nosql and here now next is log stash is a central component of elk it is actually three components data ingestion data processing and data enrichment right input processing and output so log stash has a flexibility to integrate it with kibana is a powerful visualization tool is a part of elk stack it is actually super friendly interface it reads the data from the elastic search index so all these things file file bit is a lightweight agent that is part of the elk stack is primarily responsible for shipping logs to the various source to the log stash for centralizing processing so file bit is putting the logs to the log stash right file bit read the logs from the file and push it to the log stash so now do just docker compose up and we can see everything is getting spin up so that's uh, advantage of having docker compose up file that all are spinning up and we can just check how you will check the elastic search you can just do log uh, local host 9200 and it will give you this single node cluster has been created for the elastic search and you will see the same output that means the elastic search is up and running same way you can also check for other port like 5601 where the kibana is running 5601 this is kibana add integrations so here this is kibana is actually providing you the observability analytics and security we are for here we are just going to use the how how how, how i can grab the logs which are stored inside elastic search index okay so we are just going to use the dev tool of the elastic search so here we open the dev tool get forward slash search dev tool you can get it from here and you can hit it here and you can see that you are connected so i mean by default it is already uh, connected to the elastic search when you spin up 5601 and inside a forward slash search index it is trying to search because but there is no index available in the elastic search it's totally empty so it took zero seconds and return you empty result set now uh, what we will do is so this is the setup which we are going to produce so this is the next js app and we have three different things winston which is going to use elastic search transport put the logs to the elastic search directly or you can just use a uh, log stash transport in the winston library and put the log to the Win log stash log stash will push it to the elastic search and visualized by kibana or you can use the file bits platform which will push the logs to the log stash log stash to the elastic search elastic search and kibana will visualize that okay so let's try to have the same kind of kind of setup in our code also so let's start our application here uh, what we'll do is uh, we can just create a simple new application elk nest js demo so when i push it you can also take a look onto the same setup this is i'm using nest cli to spin up just a simple hello demo application 
this is there and then i will just install the required modules like i need to have a winston module added so i will just do npm install minus minus save winston and then i will configure the same service like okay logger service logger module logger config with all the different transport modes and winston daily rotate file okay and now i will do npm install uh, all the modules are ready and inside this i can just create a same logger module so this logger module i have created in the previous video which contains all the different logger transports it is giving me the logger uh, object and this is logger module now i will be just what i will be doing so this is the logger module just import this because we have custom logger created with the nest js and here you can inject the logger module logger service app logger service and then just do a simple logging so whenever the api gets hit we should be able to generate the logs write it to the log file put it to the to the console and then visualize the same thing on the elastic search but how it will visualize on the elastic search we need to somehow write the transport elastic search transport in our logger so we are just setting up the simple setup and then we will write the logs so now i start the application i can see these logs on the console and also on the file because we are using both the type of transport console and file based transport and these logs are getting popped up and this is the file based logging because we are using both the transport one is a console based one is a file based with the daily rotate file now interesting thing we need to add another transport Win winston elastic search so winston module which we are using should be able to push the logs to the elastic search directly so there is no role of log stash in this particular setup we are trying to hit directly to the elastic search so elastic search and winston module just get them added and then we can just create the elastic search instance we need to install all these modules elastic search transport elastic search client and create the client object using elastic search instance so here const elastic search elastic search options we can provide so if you see the es transport mode options here yeah, first of all this is the url like okay what is the elastic search endpoint which we can configure in the env or this is localhost uh, 9200 and the options level info client what is the client object which we are using so here if you see client equal to new client we are passing elastic search url because client is nothing but the instance of elastic search and then format transformer how we are going to transform the data and then elastic search transport we are getting from the transport and just add this another uh, transport inside an array and that's it this is the minimal setup we are doing readable stream is not defined i think i need to switch to the latest node version i mean if i use nvm20 then it really works so you can stick to the node vm nvm20 node version 20.x and i will be just uh, hitting this url so that i can generate some logs uh, which is nothing but hitting the you uh, hitting the health check endpoint localhost 3000 and just printing hello world because there i'm putting these logs and here important part just go go to the same dev tool and hit search and you should be able to see that total 12 14 uh, occurrences are there and you can see these logs are being written index what is the index index is actually database name you can see a unique id score and the source source actually this is the data which we have pushed inside the logs and how this is being pushed we can also check the our docker compose logs what is happening over there okay but these are the the records which has been pushed automatically and this is my uh, kibana logs so i can go to the dashboard create dashboard create visualization i already have this particular index and here you can see the whole logs being popped up in the elastic search how that is happening because we are using es transport and putting the logs to the no nest yes to the elastic search and i can see all those things here so what is the overall advantage let's say we are writing a, a, a microservices and maybe they are distributed but we wanted to centralize the logs so you can set the context equal to application microservice name and you can push those logs real time to the uh, this elastic search platform here you can have a elk cluster and push all the logs here and then you can visualize it through the kibana 
and there are different ways of visualizing it like here currently we have just a few fields context level message timestamp you can also have a status code api name api url api path all those arguments can be used to trace the static matrix lots of things can be analyzed using that currently it's just like okay this index is database where you are actually putting the lots of data inside it so now i'm trying to put uh, these logs on different modes like okay this logger dot log one error three different log log level i'm using and then this is the logs it is generating and you can see these are the three different log levels i'm using info one error so similarly the same statics is getting exposed here okay these are the these many are the verbose these many are the info logs one logs and error logs all these are being popped up exactly the same way which i have pushed from the nest js a logger service and here this is simply so what we have done is from nest js app i used uh, winston elastic search transport and i'm putting the logs directly to the elastic search let's change this behavior i can just use a uh, es transport mode also we can where we can use the log stash winston log stash log stash will push to the elastic search and how log stash is doing that transformation that we will see in the docker compose so here i will be just using another transport strategy winston log stash then i will add another transport maybe comment this elastic search transport so we can have a room for adding another transport and seeing that see that logs here so i will just create a instance of it log stash transport equal to new log stash transport so here we are passing the host local host and port is 5000 okay this is the because log stash is exposed here log stash is listening for all the logs coming to the local host 5000 which we have seen in the log stash configuration and here add another transport log stash transport and maybe command the elastic search one we will play with the one at a time and now start doing the same thing uh, put more logs after starting the application hello world hello world and here let's see what is happening so here in the in our logs docker compose logs you can see these are the logs which is being coming because log stash is taking that as a ingestion data ingestion transforming it and then pushing it to the elastic search and same i can see in the docker compose logs okay live level message version trace timestamp and the event all these are actually actually pushed through the log stash log stash is putting that to the elastic search and you can see all the same set of messages are being pushed so here i just want to change the message name debugging the log trace from the elk just to see okay things has been changed when you start putting the logs to the to the log stash i just change the message syntax and this is the log stash configuration which is saying input can come on the tcp port 5000 or 5001 beats port i will filter it and i will push this to the elastic search as an output so this is the input filter and output and here i have created a different index name now the index name is demo date stamp let's see this how we can visualize this in the given i do docker compose up again so it should start writing uh, the logs to the new index which i just have changed to the log stash yml file i will just hit the some hello world endpoint and then we'll go to the kibana these logs are popped up in the for the log stash and here i can see uh, my index is changed here in the search demo 2024 and the message name is also changed debugging the log log trace from the elk this is the index this is the message is coming now we can just create a dashboard so here the path name index pattern index is actually <coughs> the index uh, which is which you have created in the elk elastic search so it should be it is prefixed with the demo so you can just hit demo forward uh, dash and i can see that there is one index already there and the dashboard name create visualization for it hit dashboard create visualization and you can see all these things are being popped up and here these are the messages which are which will start popping up i need to fix i think the date range so that i should be able to see the data coming up yes now the data is coming 
after fixing the date range in the top bar and proper log messages are coming here you won't be able to see lots of things happening because i'm just putting one simple console log and trying to see how this is working on the kibana side but when you have a intense logging different log messages then you should see a intense graph being popped up i mean it's not like okay you can just set only 5 6 arguments you can put n number of uh, arguments through the through the winston okay your api version context or api path uh, api url whatever the context or meta argument you wanted to set that can help you for the logging all those things can be configured and then same things we can we can use here like in the prometheus grafana grafana is actually for visualization similarly based on those data attributes we can uh, design design the access coordinates and can see the visualization here in the kibana so that's all guys uh, this is how the whole elk stack work we can also have a, about simple demo about uh, beats beats is actually reading that from the the file so your microservice is generating a logs onto a particular directory from there we can read and that uh, file beats actually push to logs test through elastic search and then kibana it's the same path either you come either you directly push or push it through the logs test or push it through beats file beats that's all guys so this is kind of a done now we are going to cover more interesting topics in the coming videos